Hey guys, it's Shauna here and Ponder. Um, out here with all my chickens. Um, don't know if I ever said this in the very beginning, but I thought I'd just give you a little backstory on how I ended up with so with the number of chickens that I have. Um, because I starting out, I wanted three to six, just enough to have eggs for m myself and my husband. Um, and now I have um, 14 full-grown, no, 12 full-grown. I've got two salmon favorol uh, juveniles, and I've got some chicks that are hatching today. Um, in fact, they're out from under mama, so let's go on over there real quick and take a look. I can see one of them from here. Um, I have, this is the uh, Tractor Supply XL Sentinel Coop, um, and I have split it up, and I have what I call kindergarten on the right-hand side over here, and there's my little sa Salmon Favorol uh, Juveniles. They're just little. They're just not putting on a lot of weight and bulk, and they're so docile anyway. Um, I let them out with the rest of the chickens this morning, and they came right back in here, so... Um, they are still in kindergarten. And then we got Mama over here. This is the maternity ward on this side. Um, she has got at least five babies hatched, and there was one pipped when I came out here earlier. Um, you can see there's one peeking out over there. Oh, she's looking at it. She says, get back in there. Oh, there's one in the front. So, um, I got a, uh, well, my last video was about the incubator that I got secondhand. And I wanted to test it out and make sure that it worked. So, I took a dozen eggs and I put in there. And within um, the first 10 days of them being in the incubator, um, Annie, my frizzle here, went broody. So I thought, okay, well, this gives me a second opportunity. Um, I can make sure the, the incubator works. That's boss hog. Um, I can make sure the incubator works and I can try letting Annie, um, sit on some eggs. So I left three in the incubator and, uh, gave Annie six of them. Um, and then um, today is Saturday. I believe it was Thursday morning. I brought the three that were in the incubator out here because I knew day 21 is tomorrow evening into the next day. Um, so I brought them out here to her so that she could take care of them once they were born or once they hatched. Um, so, as of right now, she had nine eggs under her last night. When we got up this morning, two of those had hatched. And, um, last check, five of them had hatched and one had pipped. Um, so we're waiting to see if that one that pipped and the other two <laughs> eggs go ahead and hatch out. And if so, we will have a hundred percent, um, uh, hatch rate. Um, at worst, 65%, which for my first time is not bad. I really wasn't going planning on having more chickens right now, but it just happened that way. So, um, we're a little happy about it, excited about it, and, um, that's what we're doing. There, there's another one. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's right there, right? Let's see if I can point for you. Well, let's try the other hand. Sorry about that. I can't pick up my hand because I zoomed it in. There, you can see it. It's the baby. We're excited. Hoping one of them's a frizzle. Um, this is just a barnyard mix of chicken eggs. Um, I know at least one or two were, were her eggs, so there's a chance that we'll have some frizzles out of this. My roosters 
are uh, here's one of my roosters uh, he and I have a love-hate relationship um, he has attacked me not bad but he has attacked me several times and I attack back um, so this uh, silver wine dot right here that's peace let me get my um, this is my this garden rake right here let me zoom back out so anytime I'm out here I walk with the garden rake I don't need a cane I just need something to keep that mean old rooster away from me. So one of my roosters is um, Boss Hog, which he's a barred rock. Um, this is a um, black ostrilor, and I know at least one of her eggs was in there. Um, I believe we had a couple of Sussex eggs in there. Um, we've got a black star over there. And then my other rooster is a black copper moran mix um although i don't see the mix in him at all he is a beautiful rooster hey poppy hey poppy i don't have any polish in there these girls are not laying this is my uh Southern ingenuity over here uh, where giving extra shelter from rain or wind or whatever is concerned and they love to climb on it so I'm not mad at it it looks horrible but whatever they love it um, so my Polish hens are peace I'm sorry joy and happiness um, Happiness is the one in the back, and joy is the one right here in the front. And you can tell which is which because happiness has more white feathers than joy does. Um, you have to see them from the back, but um, the word joy is a shorter word. It has fewer letters, so fewer white feathers, fewer leather letters. goes together. Um, and then this silver wine dot right up here is Harmony. And the way I tell her and peace apart is if you look at her comb, um, right on the top, woo, right at the very tip top of her comb, there's a little bump there, an extra bump that peace doesn't have. Um, so I say she's got more comb. Harmony is a longer word, has more letters. So, whoops, sorry. Uh, that's how we got her name and how I tell them apart. Um, my Sussex, I've got two Sussex. I've got, I get, seem to get two of what I have. This one is Wendy. Uh, the other one is Tinkerbell. There's Tinkerbell over there. Now, if you look real close on Tinkerbell, you can see that she is just covered in white spots. And I call that the magic. She's got more magic on her like Tinkerbell does in Peter Pan. And see, Wendy just does not have nearly as many spots on her back. So that's how I tell them apart. Boss is a very proud rooster, and he does not like me being in his area. If I turned my back on him right now, he would he would come after me. Um, I've got... <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, Boss was supposed to be a pullet. He got him from a farm store and he wasn't a pullet um the reason i'm telling you that is because i got what i thought was two barred rock pullets there's one it's not a pullet he's a rooster and then there's my other one that is prudy So, I've just got a mixture of stuff. I need to cut this grass, but they love 
wandering around in that tall patch of grass. Um, our grass grows really funny here. I did not cut that like that. But what's going on is um, this is an old, uh, I don't know if it's an old creek bed or an old river bed or what. Um, but there are lots of boulders directly under the dirt um, within 12 inches of, you know, what I'm standing on. Um, so anywhere there's not a lot of grass is where there's a big rock just under the surface. Um, and then where there is grass is where there's a, a um, break in between the, the rocks. So you'll see when I come around this way, um, what I'm talking about. You can also see if you pull us up on Google Maps, you can see it from the aerial view. You can see the topography and see the um, formations of rocks and stuff. Um, my husband just mowed so it's harder to see it out here. But it's like that all over our, our yard out here. So, anyway, um, just wanted to update you on um, the chicks and the chickens and the mean old boss hog. He's such a beautiful rooster, but he's just so stinking mean. He's not that mean. He's just trying to protect his girls, I know, but... Mm. He needs to protect me. Somebody needs to protect me from him. That's why I carry this garden rake. Alright guys, I'm going to go inside and get this thing uploaded. And uh, I will up you, update you guys when I um, know exactly how many chickens or chicks we end up with. That's Tinkerbell. She's got all the pixie dust on her. There's her sister. He doesn't have as much. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day. Bye. Now, what kind of dog mom would I be if I didn't share with you my dogs having fun and playing? Here, see, look, I told you. Here he comes. He's coming to get me. I got the equalizer here, boss. Don't even think about it. He waits till I'm occupied, so I'm going to have to back out of here quietly. There's the dogs playing. Those are my babies. That's Lucy and Porky. Lulu and Porky. <laughs> Bye, guys.